Alright, so we just got done watching Sailor Moon R, or Sailor Moon Season 2, episode, was this 23, right? 23 slash 68, I believe. Yeah. And the uh, uh, Japanese names, it was 69, Prediction of Doom, Awakening the Sleeping Beauty, Mamoru's Distress. Yeah, so it's pretty much just like, started with... Uh, Sailor Moon, she's reading her bedtime story that she reads at Sleeping Beauty, and then that kind of that kind of carries over throughout the entire episode towards the end when Sailor Moon ends up being uh, uh, put under like a sleeping spell that'll kill her, and then uh, Tuxedo Mask has to come and rescue her, even though he's really struggling to uh, to see her because of out of fear for uh, her him being like a What's the word? When it's not and it, like an unintentional source of like her like uh, demise, demise her death. He keeps having uh, visions that if he's near her, she will die. Yeah, he uses the uh, the analogy of like the red string, which is a really like it's a really big thing uh, in a lot of like Asian cultures. That's so what does it mean? This it's, sounds like something an otaku would say. It's like about this Asian thing. Culture? It's this thing where there's a uh, there's a belief that like soulmates uh they there's this there's a red string that can be like visualized and they, they're always connected by this red string and stuff like that like no matter where they are no there's they this, are, this, this just, mental red string that yeah that pulled, okay yeah there's like that whole thing so that, i think that's what he's talking about i might be wrong but that's but it seems can only assume. It seems like yeah i can't really think of what else he means by red string uh so that was pretty interesting the parallel of the uh storybook uh, solidified the uh, the finale of the episode very well when Tuxedo Mask comes and wakes her up, but then he immediately uh, backs off again because he's a scared little boy. He's, he's not scared. He but, so in this loves her. in this episode too, uh, Tuxedo Mask comes to save the day. He kind of screws the pooch, and then Usagi finishes off the bad guy. Yeah, you know, and uh, at the end you see her. Uh, sort of or towards the end, you see Usagi looking at the image of the rose that has fallen apart since he threw it down. And being like, ah, what's going on here? And uh, I thought it was it was quite a bit of fun. Or maybe not, maybe not fun, but it was just nice to see kind of the metaphorical thing of, you know, the broken, the broken rose. Um, and... You know, the uh, her and the other sailors being like, well, I guess we really did save the day. And Usagi sort of uh, innocuously in love, uh, being disappointed, almost in Mamoru's performance. And then you see a shot of Mamoru, not as Tuxedo Mask, but as Mamoru holding a motorcycle helmet, crying right onto it. That was a good scene. That was a beautiful shot. Yeah. This was, this was, a, this was honestly a, quite a good episode. Yeah, not True. bad. It was, it was very, uh, It didn't up. feel too long. It was, uh, the pacing was just fine. It's very cool. Yeah. Um, I, I really, really, uh, pardon the language, fucking hate Mamoru, though. Don't like him? How come? How come? I, I think, uh, you know, I only fucking, hate, I only hate him because of Usagi, you know? And the fact, well, and, and the fact that we have to go all, no, all the, the, con- the context is the way he's treated you, saw, you know, the it's it, it's just the and the love, the love he doesn't show for her. It's well, it's it's because of all this meta spiritual yeah. stuff and all that, right? Uh, yeah, me too. But uh, it's it's frustrating, definitely, as a viewer and as a you know as a romantic kind of guy, it's frustrating. Yeah. If you ask he's, someone, he's on. Uh, what's the word? Oh yeah, he's on my cock blocking himself. But not he's even cuck that. Holding himself. He's cock holding himself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. And then making himself miserable and making Usagi miserable. And then yeah, he's, he's making her bitch. He's make, he's he's not doing. This he's is the first time we've really like, seen him sad. But um, uh, Usagi's in has a shit life now. They're both in like. And she's eating and she's getting fat and um. That I didn't like that either. Yeah, yeah they're like they're like heavily. Uh, starting up the, the unhealthy narrative. My champs mushrooms. That's a weird thing. Women and food. Is that a carrot muffin? You want some? Yeah. Thank you, sir.
so much. I love yeah. muffins. I just love muffins in general. Okay. Oh my god. A, muff a muffin in the morning with some coffee is so nice. That's, uh, the, that's the first thing I had today. Jimmy, you should try it. I've been getting steamed soy milk. Steam, steamed soy milk? Steamed soy milk. Steamed vanilla soy milk. Because you know if you drink a little milk, it kind of makes your tummy feel a little gross probably. Yeah. Soy, soy milk? milk? I don't drink milk except in the occasional latte. Try a, okay, try a steamed milk. Steamed soy milk? Warm hot, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, like, gotta do a cover of this. What is this? This is the breakup song. And we just start crying in the phone booth. There wouldn't be a breakup song if... This is one of the best scenes in the whole show. Oh, thank you. Remember the scene? If uh, Marilyn wasn't a piece of shit. Remember the scene? Yeah, okay, how, how long ago did this happen? Because this is still the follow-up from this scene. She goes, yeah, he's just a piece of shit and making them both distressed. Like, he's just putting them both in, in like, a constant state of emotion. I just don't love you anymore. See, he's done all this shit before. I'll make sure I study hard, too. He doesn't know how to, like, manage his own emotions but, and communicate. So this episode, there's a, a lot of pressure on Yusagi and her kind of relationship with food. Um, yeah, they're, like, starting to push the, the that, I like, disagree. narrative. I disagree. No, I, no, 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 you're not fin no, let me okay, finish there. Come on. But I agree with you saying, like, it's just part of a part of Japanese culture. But it's also, like, so I mean, it's such a big thing, and it blew up really fast also. No, the, my, my, my thing, though, is I didn't... Yes, I'm not. I'm not a fan of that, but I feel like they didn't overdo it in this episode. To be honest, no. all she said is no. They didn't overdo it. All she it. said is you, if you eat too much of the fat, and then at the end she drank a, a milkshake. No, you know what I mean. It wasn't they're, like um, they're not overdoing it. But I wouldn't they're, say they're pushing they're a narrative. Gonna, I wouldn't say they're pushing a narrative. No, it's gonna keep coming up. They're not pushing a narrative, but they're they're really starting to like weigh in on it. It's I wouldn't say they're weighing in on it. You're gonna notice it a lot more. But with the with the with the male character though, you would they would just it would come off as sort of like a fun self indulgence, right? Mm -hmm. I would say I would say that that's almost for sure true. Um, where yeah, that maybe. that wouldn't be a concern to a male character, but the I don't know. Well, that's, that's actually that's definitely true in anime. In anime, yeah. Yeah. Or or if there's a male character who's gaining weight, getting bigger, it's usually like a lot more fun. It's yeah. not as like sad. It's just yeah. It's not. It's not like um, an internal so. battle. It's just like funny, you know. Okay. And that applies to my own real life with myself and my brother, for sure. Big boys who fluctuate a lot of weight. It's definitely a lot more funny than it is, I've like, uh, health trouble. like I should. Yep. You know, I've been getting fat. Hey, you quoting me? Yeah, I'm quoting, I'm quoting Phil. Yeah. Those are some good lines. Well, it's true. It is. You know, I started making more money and I started using you must have followed me. higher quality food. The higher volumes. But this was a good episode. This was sincerely a good episode. All that, all that aside, this was a good episode. Um, uh, yeah. feels like I haven't watched a good episode of Sailor Moon in a year. I don't know. Say what you want. Okay. I don't know. If say that, but someone uh, just hit my DM saying, asking me if I'm an otaku, and then I just replied with the weird frown emoji, and they said, "Cause you're always so fresh to class." It's like watching Sakura transformation. I don't know what that means. I don't know what the deal is with that. No, that's Naruto, probably, yeah. Sakura, when she, like, when she does her huge transform, yeah. Uh -huh. Say, ha ha, yes, but I am no Hokage. Ha ha, yes, but I am probably not Ha ha, ha ha, yes. Ha ha, yes, but I am more like Boruto. Ha uh, yes, um, but uh, I am Sasuke choking you out in that January 2019 meme. No, Sasuke getting choked out. Yeah, yeah. Against the wall. Uh, right but I am Sasuke choking you out in this uh, 2019 meme. I'm gonna go like that. Okay, I'm gonna open this for you. You done? Yeah, another up. Alright, well. Let's do another up. Yeah. I'm definitely done. Next episode will be good. See you soon. Bye. Uh, thanks for watching.